What's up, Leon? It's a little chilly down here. Got a little bit of tea there. Thanks for the like, Leon. You the man hitting the thumbs up before you pop in every time. You the man. You are the man. Let's see if I can. The shoulders in this are a little stiff, so I don't know how this is gonna work. Hoggy, let the pigeons loose. Hoggy is here. How's it going, Hoggy? How bad I ugh. It's been a day or two. I did uh happen to leave work. Um I was up at a rehab facility working. Ethan with his new niece. Ooh, fancy schmancy. Yeah, he said he'd pop in though. OG torque for me today. Oh yeah, Aaron, what's up, brother? I completely understand it's late, brother. I appreciate you popping in, man. Thank you. Shock treatments. <laughs> I uh, was at a rehab facility, and I left, and I stopped at the gas station on my way home. And I had my Falcon with me. It was in my little scrub pocket here. And I came out of the gas station. Right along there is this like sewer grate right there. And I'm, I was in Grand Island and this fucking rat popped out of there. And I'm like, no way. I haven't seen a rat in forever. Like, and I had to try it. I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. It just nailed that rat. Just, oh, it was wonderful. Oh man, that was good stuff. Flat out all day, Leon. I bet, dude. Just putting in the grind. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sherry. Yeah, she's right. I don't need to have my work badge on. Absolutely. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thanks, Leon. It's, uh... It's been an interesting uh, week. Boo hiss on a rat. Not as scary as light, lightning or snakes, but pretty dang close. Nah, I used to have two rats. Um, they were they were cool. I called them the twins because they they look very similar. Um, in a book I was reading, there's a set of vampires that they call the Quinn twins and it, it was a whole ordeal but I had these two rats and when I would come out of the bathroom they would get excited to see me and they jump and cling to the side of their cage it was really cool they were awesome I would like I would sit and I would sit down to play my Xbox 360 yeah this is how long ago that was I had an Xbox 360 so like I would sit down to play my Xbox 360 and I would put them on my, my shoulders and they'd just sit and run around and crawl up on my head and stuff. I threw one at Sherry once, she got really mad. Mostly because then she threw it at me and I went and told my mom. And she's like, don't throw rats at my son. 
and it was totally my fault. Like, but Sherry's the one that got in trouble. It was totally funny. She probably didn't think so, but. I'm a little off today. I actually had Sherry down here shooting on Monday. Mises. Mises. Just listen to my favorite song watching some slang videos. Never had an Xbox 360, but did have a... I still have a PS2. It's actually right there. I have a PS2 because I still have a uh, Dance Dance Revolution mat. Yes, you got in trouble. Crazy how just a couple of days will throw you so hard. But like I said, Hardy, I actually have it out. Actually, now that I just remembered you're in here. Now, I think you said that you have the three inch. Is it Sherry or am I spelling it right? Yeah, it's S H E R R Y. Yep. But, Hoggy, look what I found. This is the five inch. I've never even used it. It's so big. It, look, it's like the size of my face. Never could get into video games. Oh man, I love I love me some good video games. But you know, there's video games that everybody likes and I hate. And some of the games that I play, people are like, "How do you play that?" So, I mean, in fairness, Duck Hunt's a really good game. Yeah, I don't use mine either, Hoggy. I do still have my dime that I hit sideways, though. That was freaking hard. That was definitely one of the hardest things I've ever hit. The side of a dime. I swear it probably took me like 12 shots. That was a lot. Like 12 shots, that's a lot. Like I should have got it in like the first like four. Shouldn't even have taken me four, but I couldn't see it. Oh, okay, thanks Leon. It says there's zero people in here. That's weird. I wonder if I upset the YouTube gods. Maybe all my gun talk. Is it? Isn't it weird seeing Rob all like having to be all professional dressed and stuff? It's weird. At least it's weird for me. I'm back, Santoma text. You're a proctologist. No, no, I'm a CNA and a med aide. <laughs> I got kicked out, but I'm back. Oh, weird. Why did it kick you out? That's strange. Ocularis torque. At ACT. What a B B H ocular story. What is that? You'll have to send me a picture, Hoggy. Looks like I escaped. <laughs> uh Ness, what's up, brother? It's glad good to see y'all. How are how is everybody? Ethan said he might pop by here in a bit. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not going to make ECST, unfortunately. Oh, that's sad, man. I don't know if I am or not. Um, 
good news, extra good news. Um, I just got another phone call today. Um, I was offered another position, an evening position, um, which I can keep with this PRN position. Um, evenings with a, at York Hospital at a facility uh, doing 2 to 10 30s uh, Monday through Friday and every other weekend um, with depending on when the when the signing bonus comes on I may or may not make ECSD now I don't know it's kind of up in the air thanks Augie I appreciate it man Yeah, um, the shift differential is $2, um, so it puts me at roughly around $20 an hour. Um, it's not spectacular, but it's also not bad either. So, you know, definitely not something to complain about. I mean, it, it could be when you know how much freaking employees at McDonald's are making considering what I'm doing is actually important but what can you do in today's economy right smack oh I love that sound I wish I had a can I don't have any cans right now If you really want to look like I escape, you should see what I look like if I put on white scrubs. White scrubs make you look like you you work at the funny farm. They're coming to take me away, haha. -ha. They're coming to take me away. Ho -ho. Damn, that was my fault. Let you know, let you know. Sorry, Leanne, I get all wrapped up in my million ADHD thoughts. Paging Dr. Gray. Hey, I like that show. <laughs> I need to rewatch that show because there's a lot that I've missed. And, and uh, but I, I, it gets nice outside and I don't, I don't, I don't watch TV. I just don't. I would much rather go outside. North, is that? Is it Doug? Is that right? No. That might be wrong. So wait, everyone is calling them hug coats now too? <laughs> Still a straight jacket. Oh, is that what that is, Hoggy? Let me see. It said far right. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. It's like a turkey. Yeah, okay. I see it. I see it. I'll let you know. Yeah, I'll let you know about that, uh, Leon, for sure. Hoggy is, is our main tuber. Heck yeah, he is. Hoggy's the guy. I gotta get me a tube shooter, man. I, I, I just, I gotta I have to. I gotta get one. Even just to, to mess around with, especially on windy days. I'd love to have one. I live in the frickin' Midwest. I should have at least one for windy days. You know what I'm saying? Then I can at least go out and shoot. <laughs> it was what Dan calls a beater. Is that like uh, the same as a beater car? Just one that you run into the ground for, for shits and giggles? It's all shits and giggles until someone giggles and shits. he been? 
Has anybody talked to Adam? Exactly, Rob, but it's a Cadillac. <laughs> it's a boat, is it? <laughs> it's such a shame that you can't listen to, to music on YouTube. Like, I find that so strange that, like, you can go out into public and places can play the radio, but you can't play a radio. You, you know what I mean? I find that so weird. So you'll be here all night. Ha! Ethan's here! Heck yeah! That's my man. That's my brother right there. I love that man. He is a good dude. He's a good dad. And get a dang. Nah, I bet you YouTube censoring my ass. I probably swear too much. I'm I'm too conservative for YouTube's liking. They're like, fuck this conservative asshole. What I need to do is since I'm down here all the time, I should hang up my fucking fuck Biden and fuck you for voting him flag down here. No, is getting notified. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's up with the notifications. YouTube's like Skeeters and Dracula sucks. <laughs> You kill me, dude. Ah, uh, he slays me. Adam has been... Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I need to hit him up. I, I, get, I get really one-track-minded when I'm doing things that's part of the ADHD bullshit. Or at least mine, anyway. It's one of the things that sticks out for me. And I get one-track-minded and I forget that everything exists because I'm trying to get back into working and get into the swing of things and then you know once I regulate everything it, everything kind of falls back into place but like when I'm just starting out that that one track mind is just straight up tunnel vision yeah congratulations Ethan today from anyone hmm YouTube slacking, man. Aww. Uncle Ethan holding his baby niece. Thankfully, all of us were from an older generation, so I can say this. It's a Kodak moment. Nobody's going to get confused. Ah, oh, Ethan the Burp Master. All right, Ethan. Or, er, not Ethan, uh, Leon. Damn it, the looking at one and trying to read the other is... Boy. Well, if Eric's near you, and he can hear me, tell him Rob said congratulations on placing second at ACC. Also, congratulations to Ethan for making third. Oh, yeah. No doubt, Hoggy. No doubt. Well, I mean, how many freaking uh, lawsuits has... Freaking Facebook and Meta went through because of fucking, they're constantly selling our information and they said that they wouldn't and then they do it anyway and then people find out and then it causes a lawsuit. Such a mess. Oh, and to Monica, yes, you're right, Sherry. She got second in the women's division. Congratulations to Monica as well. How did I skip Monica? Probably because Monica scares me. She looks like she's going to beat me up. 
When she talks, it's okay. It's when she's quiet, when it's scary. It's that whole Southern Belle thing. You're like, oh man, she's going to rip my face off. She is scared to death. You ain't lying. I, was in, I went to the damn Marine Corps and I look at Monica and I'm like, nah, that ain't a lady you fuck with. That just ain't, that just ain't, ain't a lady you fuck with. I don't know if Rooster told you, but I was shaming Jeremiah's target and blaming it on someone else. <laughs> no, I hadn't heard that. She's too nice to beat you up for no reason. I didn't say it'd be for no reason. Hey, I guarantee you if Monica beat your ass, it's for a damn good reason. If Monica goes after you, they, you done, you know you done fucked up, right? See, that must be an inside thing, and we weren't there, so I don't get it. Yep, Southern Belle, that's right. She, Monica, run, so Sherry just restarted watching this Heart of Dixie show, and there's a Southern Belle in that, they're in, where are they at, Alabama, Sherry? But Monica kind of reminds me of Lemon. Or vice versa, I don't know which it is, but... Mr. Rooster is a ninja Jedi sniper. My wifey is scary like Miss Rooster's too. Uh-oh. She planned it out for a month. Then it would be epic. Oh, no, that's scary. See, Sherry, you see it too. You see it in Monica, don't you? Turbo feed hose replaced. Like, you just did that? If you did, put it on you, man, because that was quick. I don't know what it entails, because I'm... Ask Ethan. Ethan knows the extent of my mechanic expertise. I can change oil. I can change a tire. I can change brake pads. And I can YouTube shit. Like, I changed out my blower fan in my car. I had to freaking use a utility knife and cut the stock one out to put in the... <coughs> aftermarket blower fan, but <clears throat> it worked. I can change my mind. <laughs> Couple plant clamps and more money. That doesn't sound fun. It's time for you to retire, Leon. What am I doing? I was doing good and then I started talking too much and stopped shooting and... <laughs> Man, I tell you what, I was shooting down here with Sh Sherry on Monday. She wanted to practice for a little bit. She was using your slingshot, Ethan. The one you set up for you for at your house. But I was shooting and I leaned in a little too far and I cracked myself good. Like, man, like I could, when you would touch it, you could feel like the way it like crinkled my skin. And it was like several lines of like welt. Like you could run your finger over it and feel it. it I was like, son of a gun. I'm on a big turbo, but 5GS is too much. Jen's here about when Larry, the cable guy, lived with a woman and then she found out. Yep. Yeah, I lived with a woman for about six months. And then she found out. I sat on my butt all day at work and wired a box that had 164 different wires in it that looks like a rat's nest. Oh. Forget all that. 80, uh, I, had a, I had an 80 hung up. Cherry was smacking that 80. Then uh, she was hitting a can. I let Cherry go ham on the can, and then I helped her finish it up at the end. I can't do wire. I'm colorblind. I'll fuck that shit up.
it did keep coming back. He did return to sender almost every other shot. It just bounced back. It was like, shoot me again. It was like, here, try again. It's like the ammo was talking to her. Frame you using? I got the Falcon again. I've been, I've been sucking up to the Falcon the last little bit. I don't know. It's just been, it's just been on point for me. So, you know, with my obsessive compulsive wrapping cuck here, as Ethan calls it. Ethan makes fun of me because I'll. I do it and I make sure on each side the tie gets cut off in the same area and it gets the same number of wraps and all that stuff like I'm weird about it Ethan says it's uh, how it looks isn't all that important as long as it shoots straight <laughs> I'd cry, would I? Isn't that bad, Ethan? Woo! That one slipped right out of my hand. I'm glad that wasn't a four kit. That was... Woo! Let's hit the chalk bag a little bit here. Woo! That was dangerous. Not... Not for me, for my frame. I don't want it to hurt my frame. I know we can all relate. Everything has to be just right. Shut up. <laughs> don't judge my, my perfect wrapping tucks. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have messed with it either. I was doing that good. Like I did, what, what did I do that one? A day that, uh, who was in here? Jorge was in here. Jorge was in here, so we did, I did, I took 10 shots. I think I got six or seven out of 10, I can't remember. Good to hear, bush crabs. I know that was, you were talking to Ethan, but it's good to hear that you're doing good. Man. Tell you what, wearing scrubs again, this, this crap feels weird. I feel strange. It's been a couple of years, so. Oh yeah? Heck yeah can't beat that. I still can't get over the fact that I got my my personal best can cut on my live with ATO Mark. I cut a can in four shots with an eight millimeter steel. Four shots. That's not bad. Not for eight millimeter. 51 in a row. Holy shit, Ethan. Dude. I know it gets like that when you when you consistently shoot for a couple of days, man. You just start wailing on those targets, don't you? How you? Our minds just wander off too easy. We don't stay focused on shooting long enough. We start wandering and stuff, and then we're we're thinking about stuff while we're shooting. We're not focused. Your focus needs more focus. I don't care what anybody says. I'm still a horrible shot. Y'all never gonna convince me otherwise. I suck at slingshots and that's just the way that it is. And that's okay, because I still enjoys it. 
That's right, because I'm having fun. I am going to stick this badge in my pocket, though, just so that it's not visible, but I know where it's at. I don't want to leave it down here in the basement and then have to... I suck at shooting also. Yes, yeah, sure. y'all gonna, you and Sherry gonna freaking, uh, what, uh, what's the damn word now, I think, uh, group up, not group up on me, um, gang up on me, Jesus, why could I not think of that term, what the heck, that was so weird, I should be an artillery guy, <laughs> I couldn't hit an elephant at one yard. I don't know about that. I doubt that. I highly doubt that. I still can't believe I hit that rat. Throwing the sling also. <laughs> I got it! I got it! Huh. I don't know. Ethan, this is still the bucket of 8mm that I brought to your house. Like, I just had leftovers at the house. And whoop y'all from Fibbin. God, I haven't heard somebody call, call it Fibbin in so long. My mom used to call it that. <sighs> oh, that's funny. Well, I mean, if you get us in the same place, you don't have to worry about us shooting you, Ethan. Because we'll just miss. <laughs> yeah, the one that I had to have because I insisted that I was running out. That's right. You can never have too much ammo. Eight millimeter is good stuff. Heck yeah, it is. PGN or BC? What's BC? I don't know what BC is. I get PGN, so. I'm closing up shop. No. I think that was supposed to be a now, and an autocorrect got a hold of it. A birth control? <laughs> Fucking Augie. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. <laughs> uh, Hoggy. Every time Hoggy's in one of my lives, my face hurts from freaking laughing and smiling. I'm always got my grumpy face on. And then there's Hoggy. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, Leon. Look, a 40. And I missed. I've still got eggs and rabbits and stars left over. Mr. Grumpy Gills! Yes, a ball bearing company that sells slingshot ammo. Oh, okay. I just didn't know what the BC stood for. I didn't know if it, like, kind of like. I don't know. I've just never heard of it. <sighs> I seen that at the last second. That was so stupid. DC precision, ah, okay. There we 
go. At least I'm hitting shit. Butt crack. Just look down and see butt crack. Dude, five people in a live is like my magic number. Not that I'm complaining or anything, I just think it's like around four and five is like that magic number for me. That's usually about the people that are in my lives. I'm too verbally opinionated. Holy crap! That's expensive. Yeah, I, I'll go to PGN, thanks. Yeah, exactly. Alright. I only have, I think I have one client this weekend. And it's, as long as you're not doing it on a Saturday at like 11 o'clock Central Time to noon, I should make it. like to be so freaking tired. All this fucking work I've been doing. I tell you what. People will make fun of this job a lot. What's up, Zach? People make fun of this job a lot, but you roll those big heavy people over a couple hundred times all day. It's pretty freaking exhausting when some of these people are, you know, in it, it takes effort to move them. Those Wally World claims seem, seem good, by the way. They do. On East Coast, New Hampshire. So you're... You're an hour ahead of me. So... So it would be... What? 12 to 1 your time. What did Ethan say? Okay, Ethan, yeah. Oh, I'm not. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying, you, you, but do you do you have people move you or do you move you? That's the question. And I was working, I'm talking like I was working in a rehab facility. These people can't do very much for themselves. So, well, you know, hit and miss depending on the person, but. But oddly enough, I'm stupid good at my job. How somebody as mean and as opinionated as I am can clock in and just Hi, how are you? And I genuinely, I do genuinely care about my clients. I want them to have good care because if I got old and was in a situation, I would want good care. So there's no reason I can't provide good care to them. And most of the time, if you provide good care, your clients don't argue or fight. I mean, it still happens with health issues and things like that, it does. But if you go in and genuinely care about the, the quality of care that you're providing the people, they notice that. And then it makes you, you don't have as hard of a time. If you go in there and you don't care, that's why those CNAs and stuff, that's why they have such a hard time. Ah, oh, Adam, speak of the devil, brother. How are you? 
Your ears must have been ringing, man. I move on my own self at this time. I'm just <laughs> at this time, Hoggy. Oh my gosh. Yes, I know. His ears must have been. Uh, that's all right. You ain't late. I was just. Got off of work and I figured out, I, uh, to be honest, I just wanted to see if I could shoot my slang in my scrubs just because there's, you know, it's a little tight and stuff, but, you know, range of motion and stuff in scrubs is made so that you can move so that you can help people, so. Do they stole someone else's starting at, oh my gosh, that's so funny. Oh. Oh, that's so funny. That's what I heard, Coin. What's up, man? How are you? I am slinging in scrubs today, just to see how it goes. I, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a good job. I like it. I like what I do. Um, I didn't realize I missed it as much as I did until I started doing it again. Oh, Chad's here too. What's up, Chad? Dude, everybody's in here. What's up, guys? I can't thank you all enough. Thank you. I think Ethan took off, but... Coming in a day late. Yeah, I have noticed that. I've been getting notifications late too. So, you need to get a set of scrubs with slingshots all over. That would be the coolest set of scrubs. I would wash them every day and probably wear them every day. Like, if I could find scrubs with slingshots on them, I would probably have a couple of different sets. I just wanted some hype too. What? Did I miss what you said, Sherry? Woo, we're all here. Dang, woo, woo. Oh my gosh, Leon. Er, Sherry, you're ridiculous. I can't with you. <laughs> Sherry, if you wanted to, to come and join it, all you have to do is walk down the stairs. But then you'd be on camera, and then people can see you. Dennis the Menace or Bart Simpson. Ooh, clever. I like that. Does custom scrubs? That's so cool! Oh. <sighs> the shipping on that would probably be a, a nightmare. The shipping on, that, on scrubs for that would probably, and it depends on what kind of scrubs. So like, these are my, my current favorite scrubs. Are, can you see the, no, you can't see it. Where is it? Oh, it's down here. These are Carhartt scrubs. Um, and I mostly like the Carhartt scrubs because they have belt loops. I can wear a belt with my scrubs. And, you know, when you've got all that stuff, like if I've got a stethoscope, or, or you know, or a blood pressure cuff or something like that in my pocket, you know, and I'm, a call light goes off and I start, you know, jogging down the hallway or something, I want my pants falling down, <laughs> so... Not fair, we hear the disembodied voice sometimes. We need a face to the name. Yeah, Sherry, Sherry's one of those people. She'll avoid this at all costs. Like, it would take the jaws of life to get her down here on camera. Or we can just talk about, you know, how we show her up at Slingshot Shoot, and she's pretty competitive, so... Gonna have to visit then, yep. You ever had to give a knee drop to restart? No, nope, never had to do anything quite that extensive. I've done CPR um, on people. I have uh, been in the process of bringing uh, end of life meds, like, you know, pain relieving meds and things like that to someone on their deathbed. And before I finished filling everything out, they. They've passed on, and um, I've dealt with, I, 
I worked in memory care, so I've dealt with all kinds of different falls. Shower falls, regular falls, double falls, where a resident falls and grabs another resident, pulls them to the ground by accident, just trying to, you know, not on purpose to make them fall, but they're reaching out, trying to stop themselves from falling kind of thing. Um, I, I've done all kinds of stuff like that. Um, I've helped with injections and suppositories and uh, IVs. I've done full PPE in infectious disease rooms and stuff. And <laughs> you couldn't do it, huh? It's it's not so bad. It's uh you know. Everybody thinks CNA where it's mostly just wiping asses and stuff, and it's so much more than that. That's that's one of the things you do because eventually some of these people get to a point where they can't do it for themselves, and people think that it's just oh it's all so nasty and everything. But like, if you couldn't do that for yourself, wouldn't you want somebody to clean you up? Wouldn't you rather be cleaned up rather than you know not being able to do it and just sitting in soiled pants all the time? I mean, that wouldn't be a good time. So many nurses in my family. I said, who goes? Their friend? Or enema? No, I've never said that. <laughs> I have dealt with an enema. I couldn't cope with the negatives, but would thrive on the positives. Yeah, you know, it is. It's one of those things where one of the one of the uh, cons of this job is I, I've gotten to a point where I'm very close to being immune to when people die. Um, and it's just, it's a coping, like you said, it's a coping mechanism. Um, you deal with death a lot in this profession, especially where I worked in memory care. We had most of, a lot of those people were on hospice. They literally were there to die. My wifey is an RN. I want to get my RN. I couldn't get away from them. <laughs> lies? What are lies? What's a lie, Sherry? Which one? Sherry will call my ass out. I still feel the loss. I do. I just, I don't feel it at work. Like, I don't, when it happens, I don't feel it. You're just, what's up, Robert? How you doing, brother? It's good to see you, man. I gotta get one of this man's frames, too, man. That, uh, that, that one you made that's glow in the dark, uh, that one doesn't sell. Eventually, I'd like to... Steal that one from you. Gotta get a couple paychecks first, but I'm working on it. Yeah, I feel it after, very much so. And But I don't feel it as heavily as I used to. Like, it's... I mean, I'm still a sensitive person, like, when it comes to those things, because I do, I, I care about my clients. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. I got the same way with skydiving. Sometimes idiots jump out of airplanes. They bounce. <laughs> yeah, it it and it happens because you know you can train somebody and train somebody and train somebody and you know when the if if they're jumping alone especially pull the cord or don't pull the cord and sometimes even when you pull the cord you know things happen um, things malfunction. That's just the way of life. A bouncer squish. <laughs> Adam. <laughs> you need one of those? Need one of what? Need one of what, Adam? I'm confused. Look, today's more conversation than shooting. Robert Slingshot multi-tool. He has a multi-tool? What? How did I not see that yet? 
I work internet and IT in a large. And I hate it when I get the disconnect. They they do coin yes absolutely absolutely. Um, I can, I can actually say something now because this lady's done passed many years ago. Um, there was a, a Japanese lady um, when I worked there. Um, cool dude, she was like this big. She like. And her family came over to visit one time, and I got to hear her story. Her and her sister survived in a cave in Japan for like five years. And they were like young. Like, I mean, like, like she was like 15, and her sister was like 11 or something. And like, it was something to do with something happening in Japan. And like during a war, I can't remember which war it was and stuff, but because it was many years ago. But, but she was one of the coolest residents I ever had. Um, but she survived in a cave, and then like she like. She did all kinds of crazy things to get money to get her and her sister over here to America, and all kinds of stuff. And she didn't speak super good English, but um, she was one of the. I I was. Uh, in the middle of practicing, I was under a Reiki master at the time. And uh, one of the things I would do, I lived really close to the facility, so I would come in on my days off, and I would do Reiki on her, and she loved it. it, it and it would always, she'd get up and start work, moving, and, and she'd get up and come out to dinner and stuff when I would do it. And it was just, it was so awesome. And I, I love sitting there, and she would, every time she would see me, she would, she'd grab my face, and she would tell me, she's like, She's like, you look so much like my brother. And I'm like, I, I, I don't think I did, obviously, because I'm very European looking and they're Japanese. But like, you know, in her mind, I think it was more the kindness that I was showing her, not my physical appearance. And it was just, it just warmed my heart. I, I loved that woman. Like, she was so wonderful. Like... I would walk into her room and I would knock on her door and say hello and her face would light up and she'd get excited to see me and she'd actually sit up so she could give me a hug like dude she was just the coolest lady and I just I forgot how much I missed doing this stuff you know I left during COVID because of the pandemic and shit and Everybody wanting to dictate what healthcare workers did outside of work, and I just I couldn't handle that crap. You're not gonna. If you want to dictate what I want, what I do, pay me, twenty four seven. Period. Other than that, when I clock out, that's my time. That's just the way it is. But that's all I'm gonna say on that. But I left because of that, and now that I'm back, I'm like, man, I just. It's just one of those things where, you know, when you kind of figure out what you're good at, and this is what I'm good at. I, don't get me wrong, sometimes I complain about being good at this because I would like to be good at something else, something more productive. You know, something that I could utilize as a better skill. Not that, you know, being a good caregiver is a bad skill. It's just, I don't know. It's, a, it's one of those things where I just feel weird. Oh, take it easy, Hoggy. Thanks for stopping in, brother. Yeah, I'm going to have to check that out. But it is. It's just, it's a rewarding profession, and I enjoy it. I didn't think I would, uh... It's so weird how fast I just kind of slid right back into it. It's only been a couple of days, and it feels like like nothing's changed so but um, for some of you guys like Adam and uh, coin you weren't in here when I said that um, the current position I have is the PRN position um, so it's just as needed um, but I got a phone call today from York Hospital and was offered another position in their facility working 2 to 10.30 evenings Monday through Friday and alternate weekends. 
I'm at 75 subscribers. Holy crap! You're catching up to me. You're gonna pass me, Leon. You making more videos than I am. I suck at making videos. I don't like making them. I don't. I don't like editing and stuff. Like, and that's the kind of the, the, the editing and you know the sound effects and the you know that's the stuff that draws people in. And I just nah. so, but um, that other possession, that other position, is. And at a hospital and it's got a five thousand dollar sign-on bonus so if you know depending on when that sign-on bonus comes in um i may or may not end up uh making it to east coast so i don't crap man this is just like flying in here i don't edit i do 20 seconds short a day I wanted to make one stay there. What is going to be an epic unboxing sling mail live? Oh, did I take your spot there, Adam? I don't edit. I just do the video and post. That's what I usually do. He delivered the package to me. Oh, Adam, that's a bummer, man. Holy crap. That's a... I feel like that's a... That feels like a lot, coin. Like, you know, especially for some of our smaller channels. Like, that's a lot to be losing, you know? I'm struggling to get a hold of it. Oh, did it go to the, the ex's address? I imagine that would be a... That sounds like, I, I hate to say it, I have to say it though, Adam. I, I love you, brother, just know that. Like, it sounds like one of those situations where it just... And sorry, Sherry, because I know you're a female in here, so... But it sounds like one of those things where uh, women don't want to see men have fun and it's your sling mail. And they're like, oh, well, no, you can't have this. Adam, is that box from Ethan? Oh, he's got a box coming from Ethan. Sometimes YouTube randomly unsubscribes people for not watching. What? That's a thing I'll let it slide. Yeah, because you know women like that, and I know you do. My Ethan live unboxing will be epic. Oh, I bet. <sighs> I gotta buy Ethan some materials so that he can make mine, but that's gonna be a while. I gotta get everything squared up, else squared away first. I got things I gotta help Sherry with and that we need for the house and all kinds of different things. I wanna get a different lawnmower. I'll use the one that I have for right now, of course, but from over 10 years ago and they cleaned up inactive accounts, but I feel like I'm just sitting up. Man, that's a bummer, Coin. We'll have to rectify that. We gotta figure out how to do that. I know a big thing of it is like the times of day that you post and how often. And I know there's like a whole like, there's like a whole like, I'm gonna call it a pseudoscience. I don't know why. I don't think that's the right term, but I'm gonna call it that anyway because it sounds good. It's appealing to my ears. There's like a pseudoscience to the the algorithm of YouTube. There is a science. Yeah, I know that. I just wanted to say pseudoscience. I don't even know what pseudoscience is, but it sounds good. And it's, that's that's what I'm going with, just because it sounds good. I probably do know what it is and just don't remember what it is. Because I'm thinking about it. I hate when I do that. I know all kinds of shit, but I don't know, like, what it's called. And then people will tell me, like, to, like something by its name. And I'm like, what's that? And then they'll explain it to me. And I'll be like, oh, you mean such and such? And they're like, yeah, it's called this. And I'll be like, oh, well, I know how to do it. I just didn't know what it was called. <laughs> Weenus. Weenus. I'm touching my weenus.
So it's nice to have any. That's true. Moon pies. Blech. Moon pies are fucking gross. Fucking hate marshmallows. Blech. Blech. Fucking hate marshmallows. Marshmallows are so gross. You have a lag. Okay. <laughs> That's the weenus. That's the weenus. Weenus, 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 weenus. But crayons are yummy. The red ones are the best. They taste like the blood of your enemies. <sighs> Rule number one. Buy a sword. Rule number two. Name it kind people. Kindness. Rule number three. Kill people with kindness. I touch my weenus in public. <laughs> oh yeah, well I scratch mine in public. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'll have to look through my uh, my gallery, Tom. And I have. I, I should still have it. I've had it for years. But I have a meme. And it's from an anime. And they're like shoving crayons in like the other kid's face. And it has like a USMC stamped on her forehead over her face. And says, you see this crayon? I'm going to fucking eat it. If I had a crayon with me, I'd fucking eat it right now. Mmm, nom 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 snacks. Have you seen the one of the... There's like a whole bunch of girls all dressed up in different Crayola crayon, uh... Like, I don't know, like a costume or something. And it's all different colors and they're all lined up and it says, Well played, Marines. Yeah, it's like a bunch of models all dressed up like crayons. I let my weenus hang out in public. <laughs> my weenus is bigger than your weenus. Oh my god, Leon. Yeah, well, I can touch my weenuses together. How about that? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna guess a box of crayons. <laughs> so a late night snack. Just a late night snack. Nom 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 nom. Does that mean the blue one should taste like the blood of the Crips? Not today, I'm trying to cut down. <laughs> you guys are freaking killing me today. Doing well. So many weenuses. We're in weenus heaven. <coughs> weenus heaven. Should have put these in the bigger pocket. I'm actually gonna move these over here because I keep sticking my hand in that pocket. <sighs> Don't pinch the weenus. seen this really cool sign. It was like a machinery sign. And it was like, you know, one of those like warning for pinched fingers or pinched pinching warning signs. But it basically said, it said, if you wouldn't stick your penis here, don't stick your fingers here or something like that. It was freaking hilarious. Wait, what? What did coin workers say?
13 year olds, all of you. <laughs> Shut up, coin. You know you've been sitting in your basement laughing at us. You ain't fooling me. All memes, Adam. <laughs> Thank you for the inclusive. <laughs> well, that ain't a ten dollar word there, Adam. What did what Sherry say? Oh shit. What did I miss? So many weenuses. <laughs> oh, okay. That's how I roll, Adam. <laughs> I know, right? Why are my how come my lives are always like this? No worries, Adam. We love you, brother. We're glad to have you. Adam, our brother from down under. At Adam Daw, owner and founder of Dust. Jerry imagining all the weenuses. <laughs> Heck yeah, it is. We missed you, brother. Heck, I missed everybody. I have a great time. I don't know why my lives are always freaking ridiculous, but... Like when me and Coin went live and we just... We're sniffing latex and cracking everybody up. Hoggy was in there freaking cracking everybody up. And... Oh, no, I came back. I don't know where it went, though. I'll find it later. Because you're not stuck on your weenus. So that's where the cool kids come to hang out. Sounds like everyone needs long sleeve shirts. Are you referring to those hug coats again, Sherry? She wants us to wear those hug coats. Ones that make you give yourself a hug. Like, I couldn't imagine if I had a niece or a nephew, like, we should open a shop called the Weenus Store and Only Sell T-Shirt. Oh my god! That is genius! I love it. I love play on words. I love, and I especially love stores that have a play on words. It, it's, I'm telling you! She shouldn't have said it on a YouTube. Now it'll appear somewhere. The newest ETSU store. ETSU? Trying to think what ETSU would be, but I'm not getting there. Maybe I'm a little slow. Etsy. Oh, okay. That makes way more sense. Way more sense. Just have every kind of crazy t-shirt imaginable. 
I still really want to get another one that says, if it's 501c3, it's not for me. I still want that shirt. Clearly, Rob also still has a lag. Oh, okay. Possible. You open a new Etsy? What are you selling, coin? Isn't Snow on Etsy too? I believe. Who knows a cold? It's a tad chilly down here in the basement. more minutes and then we'll get off get off get off here I gotta take my phone upstairs and Sherry and I gotta sit down and do taxes she helps me with the taxes so I don't get all pissed off because <laughs> I get mad are you serious you want that much fucking money from me Jesus Christ You should do, you guys should see me have a fucking, like a, get pissed off at a video game. That shit is awful. It's so bad. Sherry will tell you. I guarantee you she'll put something here in the chat in just a second. Yeah, that's because you would have been to a higher tax bracket this year. But me, me getting mad at video game, dude. Getting mad at Destiny 2 when I end up freaking, I get confused and I'll start quests and stuff that you need more than one person for and I don't know that. I'm just freaking getting just freaking owned and I get so mad like it's so hard not to throw your controller through the freaking TV. I get so mad. I've broken so many controllers. It's not even funny. And those things are like $65 a pop. Like, the, my current controller, it doesn't, like, the vibration in it doesn't work anymore because I've, I've, I've thrown it so many times. Oh. They make mitts for that. <laughs> Fucking coin. Smart ass. <laughs> you know how expensive meds are, asshole? <laughs> You're right. It just leads to a new controller. There are pros and cons. Dude, coin, coin's hilarious, man. I freaking love coin. Coin, we need to do another live, man. Less than controllers. God damn it. I should have thought I should have thought that one through. I walked right into that one. I walk right into that one. I don't know, some meds are pretty expensive. Some of those meds are like $500 for a freaking prescription. You're like, are you freaking serious? God forbid you go to a hospital and look at your bill, what they charged you for a Tylenol, $210 for fucking two Tylenol. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll we'll get it done, Adam. Cause you know I can be inside when you're when you've got daylight and shit. So I'm always happy to hit, hit it up. Coins always got the one-liners, <laughs> but they're clever. That's what I like about about coins. They're actually like coin, coin throws in that 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 bit of cleverness. Actually, it makes me think of a. Uh, which one? Which doctor was that? I want to say it was the tenth doctor when it was David Tennant. And I'm clever. 
Was it Ted and Adam? Do you remember? Like the sweat jumps comment to G, to D's. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was Tenet, Adam. I think it was. Cause I know. I like. I have a really hard time be picking between. I really liked Matt Smith and I really liked David Tennant. I David Tennant's probably my favorite doctor. But Matt Smith's a, a very close second. I need to watch some Doctor Who. I haven't watched the old man Doctor or the female Doctor at all yet. Yes! Coin! Yes! Dude! Are you a Whovian? Because if... That's true, that just made you 10 times cooler. Yes. One, coin, okay, so if you're, if you know, then. Ah, oh, shit. Now I, I lost it. What was it, Sherry? Ah. Uh... It's on Max. Oh, oh. Sweet. Um, it's Rose and David Tennant. So what's her name? Billy, Billy Piper and David Tennant. It's the, it's the I want to say it's the first Cassandra episode. Stop mucking about. I'm not mucking about. See, I knew I knew that freaking quote, but I couldn't, I couldn't place it, and it made me think of the other quote. Fucking ADHD brain, dude. Fucking hate that shit. It drives me nuts. Mm. Hey. Tyler Durden, right? Was it Durden? Was that right? Yes. I think we have that movie somewhere. Or, no, Sherry has that movie somewhere. God, I haven't watched that movie for... That is a, it is a great movie. I, I love at the end when it shows you uh, the bar scene where he's fucking kicking his own ass. Ugh. See here, ADHD brain works after all. <laughs> oh, I did. I to be honest with you, Coin, I did not know that that one was a book. To be honest with you, uh, that I did not know. I bought Sherry the Orange is the New Black book, and she lost it for like fucking like six years. We just found it. Yeah, I don't, that never happens, coin. Like, the book's always better. I would, the book story's always better. Always. Like, I remember the first book that I read first and then watched the movie was, um, Ah, uh, brain fart. Where the Red Fern Grows. Yeah, they call him Brad Pitt. I missed something here. Maybe I am on a lag, I'm confused. I missed something there. I'm too far past it. Fucking. Uh, I don't know. Look at 40.
sounds gross. Oh, I, oh, I am because I'm just lost. I'm <laughs> just moving on. I like, uh, occasionally I like to kick on, I get, which one we get through my phone, Sherry? Disney Plus, right? Is that the one? Yeah. We get Disney Plus streaming through my phone. Like, it comes with my phone bill or whatever. Um, and I occasionally kick that on to watch, uh, Boy Meets World. Fucking love Boy Meets World. Feed it! Feed it! Sherry, I'm so tired of hearing about this. I know that's why you did that. Fucking smart ass. She loves horror movies. I fucking hate them. I hate horror movies. I don't want I don't want to sit home and be scared in my own house for no damn reason. I don't want to. <sighs> Fuck all that. Oh no! Sad face. That explains that's what happened. I'm like, why am I missing so hard? What's happening? That's what happened. Stupid. Well. Alrighty then. Guess I need a new set of bands. Well, I suppose I'll hang. I'll just hang out BS for the last eight minutes or. Seven minutes here. It's good. He can't go into the basement to shoot. <laughs> no, I just... I don't actually get, get scared. I don't like the stupid jump scares. Those are the ones... They, they bother me. It, it, it makes me angry. Like... I think that's a childhood trauma bullshit. Because... My dad was one of those abusive motherfuckers that would fucking beat you while you were in your bed sleeping. So, I think that's where that comes from, so I don't like jump scares. So. <sighs> FTW. Do jump scares on YouTube and yeah, 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 and and it's it's an automatic, especially with with the high definition, you know, clarity of you know our phones and stuff, dude. You're like ah, oh. Andy Low, what's up, brother? You popped in right at the end. I just broke a band set, so. We, uh, as long as nobody finds out, right? It's freaking, no. I don't like, I don't like those jump scares. Uh, all right, here we go. I don't like the length of these bands, but we'll deal with it for right now. God, this pouch is like wicked broken. Yep, that was definitely the bands. He just drew. Remember, he has like seven slings in the bit. Shut up! You're always judging me. This community is so damn judgmental. 
Me, me. What the hell? Oh, I forgot I did that. I'm like, why the hell is this so heavy? Like four on me and all that. Yeah, I usually keep, uh, yeah, most of mine are upstairs. <laughs> Adam, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are twelve in the basement alone. Oh, thirteen, because of the one that I brought down here. There are thirteen slingshots just in the basement. There are 13 frames downstairs. Or maybe not. Dude. Leon. We're going to have to chat about that because I'm going to have you get old ashamed for me eventually. But I'll have to ask you. Well, I'll have to ask you to ask him what they run. Because obviously, you know, whatever he wants for it, but but I've got to I, I, I got to have one of those snapshots. Those are cool, man. I don't know how I'll do with the 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 whole rectangular frame, but I want to at least have one to try it. Oh, my wife just asked me how many slings I own. <laughs> Just stop talking. Over a half dozen in round. Heck yeah, that's what's up, Adam. Groovy, Leon, thank you. Yeah, Leon freaking almost always has one in the mail. I need to get his sent out. Two, but I gotta wait for a paycheck or two. On the plus side, this PRN job pays every Friday, so that's kind of cool. There are not too many jobs that do that anymore. A snapshot is cool, Chad. I agree, man. How's Andy tonight? And Chad, how are you, man? You've been pretty quiet. How are you, brother? Right. Three from Dave, one from Chuck, and one from Hell Philly. Oh my gosh. That's what you have in route right now? Ooh, that was such a good hit. I want to get one of those hillbillies. Those are nice. I have a thing for wood frames. I really want, I really want one of the Harley ones that, no you don't, Cherry, you own more than one. You have that one Ethan gave you, you have the two hooligans that Ethan gave you, you have the Oasis that I bought you. Um. You have your ocularis. Writing bills, not so much typing. No, I feel you. I, I gotcha. I just checking in and I haven't really heard from you. I want to make sure you was good. You're 50 some at the moment. Holy shit, Leon. I think you have more than I do. We have the mini hooligans, the little tiny ones. I think they're G10. Ethan gave, Ethan gave him to Sherry. <laughs> Sherry keeps forgetting that she's better at pinch grip than she is brace grip. No, he never came and got it, Sherry. No, you have your sparrow. You should have a black sparrow. You have that blue one. Your 
your slings are in my, on my door. No, Ethan gave you a couple. They're, they're all on there. They're, they're all the pinch grip ones. Because he ended up figuring out that you were better at the pinch grip than you were the brace grip. She was out there shooting with me and Ethan. And Eric, she got tired of us smacking the 25s and she just let one rip and goes and just smacked the shit out of a 25 at 10 meters. Dan hasn't finished that one yet. My brain can no longer store any more frame design. Yeah, I'm with you on that one, Adam. Before I went to HHST last year, I set all my slings out on a table and took a pic. Posted it on a slingshot group on Facebook. It wasn't a private group. My wife saw it. Oh! Oopsie! Oopsies. Oopsies. So, I've noticed, I figured out this thing. I would get really angry. So, you know the, the, the anger that comes from something or someone breaking your hyperfocus. It's, it's, it's an uncontrollable rage. I figured out, like, I have this issue where I'm tr when I'm trying to do something and I'm hyper-focused and I'm trying and I really need the dexterity of my hands and my fingers, my hands, they, I don't, I don't know what the hell my problem, they just, my hands obsessively just so badly start to sweat. They sweat so bad that I cannot hold things. And it breaks my hyper focus when I'm tying bands or, you know, pouches, any of that stuff. And I get so infuriated and I cannot handle it. Like, I just, I can't, I cannot get a handle it because I'm hyper focused. And then my hands just start, my palms just start pouring sweat. I can't hold on to shit. And it is the most infuriating thing in the world. She laughs at me and calls me out. Yeah, that's a good point, Lula. I did the same a month ago, Coin. Just a pic, no posting. Ah. Chad hooked me up. What Chad hook you up with the Wendigo? Is that what you're talking about? Because I've got the Rougarou from Chad, and I sent him the 701. So I don't throw the controller, it slips. That's right. Clever, Chad, clever. See, you hear that, Cherry? I don't throw the controller, it's just sw slipped out of my sweaty hands. I just asked her about her shoes and purse collection. <laughs> but that's not the same thing, I'm sure. <laughs> Did you get it? It's not the same thing. Because that would be just hysterical. I believe you. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but that's not the same. I don't know if I'm gonna get this right or not, because I don't know anything about designers or any of that crap. But I saw it on a show, so. What is so special, if, if your wife collects bags, ask her what's so special about a Hermes bag. I think that's what it's called. Or if somebody knows, tell me. Like, what the hell is so special about this, this Hermes bag? I guess it's their, like, purses or something, I guess. 
and they're apparently extremely expensive. She's not really a collector, I doubt she would know. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's special about these Hermes bags, but apparently they're really expensive and there's something fancy and special about them. I don't I don't get it. I don't know. Sherry's not a purse collector, I would have just asked her. They're super soft leather bags. Oh, okay. She does know. She's not big into I bought Sherry a Super Mario purse and she was ecstatic. Because she loves Super Mario. Your camera bag collection? Do you have a lot of cameras? Or do you have camera bags for your slingshots? Nah! <laughs> That is the best bag. <laughs> you mean the camera bag that you got me? Yeah, I love the camera bag that you got me. It's absolutely amazing. It's a cool, like, old school. Dude, it's a, it's an awesome camera bag. They, the company that made it did an excellent job. Yeah, you just say so yourself, Sherry, because you bought that fancy camera bag. Yeah, I, there's a camera in mine. Not wrong there. I would love to get back into photography. I really would, but... It's really hard. It's just... The, the sitting and waiting for the light and everything and, you know, finding the right spot, angle, I get real frustrated and I get, I just want to go do something else. I really, I, I, I love photography, I really do. It's, it's such a beautiful hobby and it's just... Case of gas. Yeah, go for it. Uh, let me, uh, I gotta make you a moderator, I think, to do that. So let me make you a moderator. There you go, buddy. Go ahead, Bushcrafted. You post whatever link you need. Gear requirement syndrome. <laughs> Just like they say, you know, Marines don't steal things. We ta they are tactically acquired. I don't steal anything, I just tactically acquire things. All of my lighting kit is tribute to former addictions. Gas is a real problem. Yeah. It really is. It's not Larson. <laughs> It's definitely a problem. Well, y'all, I suppose I should jump off here. I gotta save what batteries left for the of the phone for Sherry and I gotta... I figured you meant larceny. I, I figured, I'm like, why does it say larceny? <laughs> I figured that's what you meant. I have tactically acquired things from work. It happens. Sometimes you just need to tactically acquire things. We used to tactically acquire things from the army all the time. So, yeah, go ahead and get that in there. And use code PAMED10 for 10% off your order. Everybody make sure to go ahead and check out Bushcrafted's link here. Gear dipped. 
that drip is getting lost. Yep. But everybody go ahead and, uh, Sherry, not Shelly. Adam, sorry. I just wanted to correct you. I don't know if it was a typo or not, but I just figured I'd reiterate. S-H-E-R-R-Y, Sherry. Not Shelly. As long as you didn't call her what, uh, uh Cheryl. Don't call her Cheryl. That was a brain fart. Yeah, no, no biggie. Yeah, I, fi I figured as much. Wait, the link didn't work? It didn't work? Well, then I'm going to hang out here for a minute and see if Bushcraft wants to try to post it again. Click on it so we can get some traction. Okay. Um... Sherry said it didn't work. Um, is anybody else having that issue? Link worked here, but shipping will be a bummer. Yeah, you, well, you're, it's unfortunate for you, Adam. Should work. Took me to the site. Yeah, Sherry's like a computer wizard. She does customer service on the phone and fixes computer stuff sometimes but for a particular set of things is what I will say yeah or yeah um, Tom you can also you can also uh, send me the link uh, you can send it directly to my phone and I can forward it to Sherry um, she loves coffee, and she loves trying new coffee, so we like coffee in this house, so you can definitely probably guarantee that uh, you'll get some traction from Sherry on the coffee for sure. So, and I'm glad that, that it was working. Um, everybody, don't forget if you guys aren't, I imagine everybody's uh, subscribed to Bushcraft. If you're not, please go ahead and Give his videos some likes and subscribe to his channel. He's a good guy. Knowledgeable guy, too. Um, Bushcraft, I actually... I have a question for you. Are you still in here? I'm just going to wait. I know it lags a minute, so I'll just go... I want to wait and see if you're still in here, Bushcraft. Just because I have a quick question for you. Another link on my channel page. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so you're still in here. So my question for you is, I have a... What is it? The, the Cold Steel SRK in the Sanmei Steel, or I don't know if I'm saying that right, but you probably, if you deal with knives a lot, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. The Sanmei or Sanmei or whatever some kind of japanese steel i'm telling you what dude that shit is hard as crap and i am having a hell of a time sharpening that knife so if you've got any pointers for me on that particular kind of steel it would be greatly appreciated like that thing is kind of pissing me off because I love that knife but I can't get it sharpened the way I want. I can put an edge on it but it's just it's. I like my shit razor sharp you know what I mean and I'm not and I'm just not getting there so use diamond plates on super steels like that okay so I do have a diamond stone I have one um, I'll, I'll text you a picture in it, of it and see if the grips are heavy, heavy enough Coin, what you mean on on uh, on Amazon? Real fast before you dip out. If you didn't leave yet, cause I'm curious. I like me some Fallout, so Amazon game. What the hell are Amazon games? Yeah, 
All right, Adam, you're going to have to message me, brother. You're going to have to tell me about this Amazon game. Uh, Fallout 2? There's a... Dude, I forgot about... That's an older one, right? I have... Which one do I have? I think I have four. There's a show? <laughs> All right. I'm going to have to check that out, coin. Thanks, brother. I'm glad you didn't dip out right away. Thanks, man. I really appreciate your answering the question. I really appreciate that, man. It's basically Fallout 5. Oh. Okay. Because I have... Which one do I have? The one that I didn't like. The one that was like Fallout 76. I bought that one for the PS4. I, I did not like that. I did not like the way it was set up. I loved Fallout 4. Um, I loved New Vegas. Uh, I, I did not, not like Fallout 76. I just didn't like the way they did it. It was all like online and... Uh, <coughs> it just... It didn't feel the same. I didn't like it. But yeah, definitely coin out. Thanks, man. I'm going to have to check that out. Thanks for sticking around and answering that question, brother. I really appreciate that. So, all right. I'm really going to get off here because I need to get the taxes done. Because I'll sit here and BS with y'all forever. Because I love you guys. So, I love you guys. Have a wonderful night. Thank you guys for coming in, listening to my news, and hanging out with me tonight. I appreciate everybody. Um, if you can, I know there's a couple of, of you in here before you, um, dip out. If, if everyone will go in and smash that like button for me, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, we're only missing, it looks like maybe three. Um, if, and if you guys already did it, I very much appreciate it. If you didn't, if you could do it on the way out, it's much appreciated. Thanks guys and have a good night.